name is Adeline. If you're watching this, you've probably at least talked to your doctor about using the Reveal Link system to find out if you have a heart condition, or maybe to make sure the prescribed treatment for your heart condition is doing what it's supposed to. Maybe you've even tried other heart monitors, but your doctor wasn't able to get the information needed to figure out the best treatment. I know it can feel a little overwhelming to have so many unanswered questions. In this video, I'll do my best to walk you through what you should know throughout your experience with Reveal Link, so that together with your doctor, we can unlock answers to questions about your heart. The Reveal Link system by Medtronic offers you and your doctor continuous, long-term heart monitoring that can last up to three years. The device is not visible in most patients, and it's safe to use in an MRI setting. The system is easy to use, and it's portable when you travel, all of which means that your doctor can learn about your heart while you go about living your life. Now, let's review the components of the system and how they work together. The system has two primary components needed to capture heart information and send it to your doctor. The Reveal Link Insertable Cardiac Monitor, or ICM, continuously monitors and records irregular heartbeats. And the MyCareLink Patient Monitor, which is a bedside unit that collects data from the Reveal Link ICM and sends it to a secure location where your doctor can view it. The Patient Assistant is an optional component. Your doctor will decide if you should get one. It's used to mark specific heart rhythm data in the Reveal Link ICM when you feel symptoms. The Reveal Link ICM is the smallest of its kind. This tiny device is inserted just under the skin during a short outpatient procedure. Your doctor will pinch the skin and make an incision of less than one centimeter. Then, using a specifically designed tool, the Reveal Link is inserted just under the skin. Once in position, the insertion tool is removed and the incision is closed. As with all surgical procedures, there's a small risk of infection or sensitivity, but such instances are rare. After you get home and set up the MyCareLink patient monitor, the system is designed to take care of itself. Your doctor will contact you if necessary or discuss next steps at your next scheduled appointment. Continuous monitoring with the Revealing system makes it possible for your doctor to learn about your heart while you're free to live your life. The first thing you'll want to do when you get home, following the insertion of the Reveal Link cardiac monitor, is to set up the other necessary component to the system, the MyCareLink patient monitor. Proper setup of the MyCareLink monitor is necessary for the system to work, because this is the only way to move the heart information from the Reveal Link to a location where your doctor can review it. The MyCareLink monitor will keep you connected to your doctor wirelessly and automatically. Let's walk through the setup together. First, find a good place to keep the MyCareLink monitor. It should be placed within six and a half feet or two meters of your bed. This is because your doctor will program your Reveal Link device to send information to the MyCareLink monitor at a time you're usually sleeping. Plug it into a standard power outlet and make sure it's one that receives constant power. By constant power, I mean, avoid an outlet that's controlled by a wall switch, since it could accidentally get turned off. And make sure the location you choose receives an adequate cellular signal. A bedside table like this one should work perfectly. After you plug in the monitor, the Medtronic logo will appear for a minute or two while it powers on. Then, you should see this icon which indicates the monitor is connected to a cellular network. Although the MyCareLink monitor will automatically send your heart data on a regular basis, a single manual transmission is needed as part of the initial setup process. This setup transmission is needed only once. Even if you unplug the monitor later to move it or take it on a trip, you won't have to perform another setup transmission. After setup, there may be times when your doctor requests a manual transmission. But other than those times, you should leave the monitor undisturbed as much as possible to avoid interrupting any automatic transmissions or software updates. Performing a manual transmission is pretty easy, but let's walk through that first set of transmission together. If the monitor screen is dark, 
Begin your manual transmission by pressing the round gray button just once to wake it up. When you see this screen with a white arrow, you're ready to begin. Now push the gray button once more to begin sending the transmission. Lift the reader from the base and hold it over your Reveal Link ICM. The green bar means it's reading information from the Reveal Link device. When the reading is complete, the monitor will make two short tones and the display screen will show you that you can return the reader to the base. Now the screen will show the MyCareLink monitor sending the data to a secure location that your doctor can access. A green check mark will appear when the process is complete. When the large green check mark disappears, a smaller check mark and your last transmission date will be displayed in the lower part of your screen for about five minutes. It's normal for the screen to go dark at that point to save energy. And that's all there is to it. From this point on, the transmissions will happen automatically. In fact, you should avoid pushing buttons on your MyCare Link monitor unless instructed by your doctor. Depending on your symptoms and the reason for your heart monitoring, your doctor may provide you with a patient assistant. This small handheld device allows you to mark your symptoms in your Reveal Link ICM when you feel them, such as dizziness, fainting, or palpitations. Later, your doctor will be able to view what your heart was doing at the time your symptoms occurred. If you received one, carry it with you at all times so you have it handy in case you experience a symptom. When you feel a symptom, you'll have about five minutes to mark it with a patient assistant. Otherwise, just write down the day and time of your episode to share with your doctor later. Using the patient assistant is simple. When you experience a symptom, press and release the button. The searching light will start to flash blue. Next, hold the patient assistant flat against your chest, directly over your Reveal Link ICM. When a symptom is successfully marked, a tone will sound and the success light will illuminate green. If these signals don't occur within 15 seconds, repeat the process. You might wonder if you need to do anything else to transfer this heart information to your doctor, but the answer is no. You just need to sleep by your MyCare Link monitor as you usually would. That's because the data isn't captured by the patient assistant. It's stored in your Reveal Link ICM. So the information is transmitted to your clinic from your MyCare Link monitor during your next automatic transmission. Some heart conditions will take weeks or even months to present themselves, but you can rest assured that the Reveal Link system is always on. Your doctor will have access to your heart information and will notify you of any concerns. In the meantime, Always remember that the Monitor Your Heart website is an ongoing resource about revealing system with answers to frequently asked questions and personal stories from real patients. I understand how stressful it can be to have a health concern that's difficult to treat because it's hard to get enough information. Continuous heart monitoring with the Reveal Link system will provide your doctor with new insight into your heart and support an informed treatment plan. I wish you all the best in your journey.